Hi everyone. Today we are going to talk about how to active link aggregation on QNAP switch to increase network performance. Link aggregation is a very useful feature to utilize the bandwidth. First, it can increase the network performance by using more connections. Second, the multiple connections can act in as backup interface where anyone fails, which guarantee the high reliability on the network. Third, the QNAP switch comply the IEEE standard for setup with other devices. Fourth, link aggregation can boost the work efficiency because it reduces the total data transmission time and the bandwidth bottleneck. The network with a lot of link aggregation may face some difficulty when the environment under heavy loading because all the traffic is running on one connection, which is easier to reach the bottleneck of the bandwidth. To enable the link aggregation, the network can provide more connections for data transmit, and these connections will simulate as one interface, but actually using multiple connections to increase the bandwidth. How is the traffic flow under link aggregation? The definition of link aggregation will let the traffic distribution by conversation. For instance, there is one user from financial department. Her traffic will be forwarded by one of the link aggregation connection at the same session. Therefore, the traffic will not run in averagely between all connections. So we can expect the link aggregation increase the total bandwidth, but we may not see the significant change of bandwidth from single user. So the single user on the link aggregation environment just use one connection to transmit the traffic but the other link aggregation connection still useful because it can be the backup interface and reduce the downtime on your environment. We can quickly configure the link aggregation by adding the required port our interface on the link aggregation group. We just need to make sure the port that we are going to connect in is correct and the different device should use different link aggregation group. Since we are using standard link aggregation, so on the NAS, we just select LACP, which is link aggregation control protocol, to establish the link aggregation connection. Let's start to configure the link aggregation on the switch. First, we just go to the link aggregation tab. For example, if we want to combine port 5 and port 6 as link aggregation member, we just select any of group and click the edit button. The mode part, we will select LACP, which is the link aggregation standard protocol. And the port, we can check port 5 and port 6, then click the save button. Then the configuration for link aggregation on the switch is done. To configure link aggregation on the NAS, we should make sure the NAS has at least two or more network interface. And we can go to network and the virtual switch and click interface tab. To add the link aggregation interface, we can click port tracking button and click add button. Then we will able to see the available network interface. Here we are going to select both of them and click next button. And we will use the standard link aggregation protocol, which is LACP and click next button. For the failover, we also use the standard AO2.3AD dynamic and click apply. For the hash, this will 
Nico with the switch, we can use layer 2, only make our layer 2 with layer 3, make and IP. Both of them can be worked and click OK. When the link aggregation configuration has been applied, we will see the interface will be combined together and the mode will show AO2.3AD, which is the standard protocol of link aggregation. And please be aware, the IP address might be changed because when link aggregation applied, the new MAC address may be generated. And uh, if you need it, you can click port chunking and uh, check the link aggregation interface and uh, edit the setting as well. For better network performance, QNIP product is your best choice. Thank you.